Joan Blondell, a seasoned actress with a rich career, leaves us pondering over lesser-known facets of her life. As we explore the tapestry of her legendary works, one wonders which particular piece truly defined her career. Delve into the anecdotes, some funny, some shocking, and others poignant, that make up the mosaic of Joan Blondell's journey. Which memory or personal experience stands out for you? Share your stories and reflections in the comments below, for there are many more fascinating facts to unfold. Keep watching as we unravel the layers of Joan Blondell's life and career. Born on August 30, 1906, in New York City, Joan Blondell's early life set the stage for a significant career in entertainment. Growing up in a family deeply connected to the theater, her parents, James and Catherine Blondell, were both performers, influencing their daughter's love for the stage. Joan's acting journey began on Broadway during the 1920s, launching a path that would redefine how Hollywood portrayed women. The artistic influence from her family and the vibrant New York theater scene fueled her passion for acting. A turning point came when she transitioned to the silver screen in the early 1930s, making an impressive debut in the film Sinner's Holiday. Known for her wit and vivacity, Joan became a prominent figure in Warner Brothers lineup during the pre-code era, showcasing a unique charm in her performances. Navigating the complexities of Hollywood, Joan Blondell demonstrated resilience. She faced the challenges of a rapidly changing industry, adapting to new genres and styles. Notably, her collaboration with director Busby Berkeley in musicals like Footlight Parade showcased her versatility, leaving a lasting impression on the cinematic landscape. While her career experienced ups and downs, she remained a steadfast presence, captivating audiences with her distinctive flair. The 1950s brought success in television, adding another dimension to her already diverse career. During this period, her talents found new avenues, ensuring her relevance in an ever-evolving entertainment landscape. Joan Blondell's early experiences, influenced by a family immersed in the arts, laid the foundation for a lasting career. Her journey from Broadway to Hollywood, marked by resilience and adaptability, speaks to her lasting influence on the entertainment industry. And to makeup artist Catherine Blondell, Joan Blondell's connections went beyond the spotlight. Her family ties reached various corners of the entertainment world, creating a story that went beyond her successful acting career. In literature, she was featured in Killer Tomatoes' 15 Tough Film Dames by Ray Hagen and Laura Wagner. This external perspective provides a unique angle, revealing her tough on-screen persona. In the television show Here Come the Brides, originally, Gail Cobe played Lottie Hatfield in the unaired pilot as a potential love interest for Jason Bolt. However, the character transformed into more of a maternal figure for the brides. Joan Blondell took on the role, bringing stability and warmth. Her presence remained throughout the series, covering 52 aired episodes over two seasons. These glimpses into her extended connections and TV ventures add layers to Joan Blondell's story, showcasing her various roles in the entertainment world. She left her mark not only on the silver screen, but also in literature and television, showing her lasting impact. Amidst the vibrant mosaic of Joan Blondell's life, a fascinating connection emerges from an unexpected corner of entertainment history. In the British sitcom Dad's Army, Private Pike found himself captivated by her, decorating his bedroom walls with numerous pictures. This charming crush highlights Joan Blondell's widespread appeal and influence not only in Hollywood but globally. After her passing, Joan Blondell's journey concluded with a quiet permanence. Her cremated ashes now rest in a columbarium at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Glendale, California. This unassuming space mirrors the strength she displayed throughout her career, a tribute to the lasting mark she left. In her personal life, Joan Blondell faced challenges. In the midst of motherhood, her son Norman Scott arrived under demanding circumstances. Born in a challenging position with a cord wrapped around his neck, his entrance into the world mirrored his mother's resilience. Her labor endured for an impressive 20 hours, complicated further by a fractured coccyx. It's a testament to Joan Blondell's strength both on and off the screen. Exploring the lesser-known aspects of her life unveils layers beneath the spotlight. From a sitcom crush to the quiet interment of her ashes and the challenges of motherhood, each aspect contributes to the rich story. By delving into these details, we gain a deeper appreciation for the woman whose influence stretched far beyond the confines of Hollywood.
In the Cincinnati Kid, Joan Blondell's portrayal of Lady Fingers placed her alongside acclaimed actors like Oscar winner Carl Malden and nominees Steve McQueen and Margaret Tuesday Weld and Rip Torn. Her role in this star-studded cast solidified her position in Hollywood. She received a Tony Award nomination in 1958 for Best Supporting or Featured Actress for her performance in The Rope Dancers on Broadway, showcasing her versatility in different mediums. Joan, daughter of Edward Blondell and Catherine Blondell, had roots in Poland and New Jersey, respectively. Growing up in Columbus, Indiana, her heritage paved the way for her entry into the entertainment world. Beyond acting, Joan had a family connection with her niece, makeup artist Catherine Blondell, adding a personal touch to her story and highlighting the impact of her artistic roots. Literature featured Joan in Killer Tomatoes' 15 Tough Film Dames by Ray Hagen and Laura Wagner, depicting her on-screen toughness. This inclusion in literature emphasizes her enduring image in the Tough Film Dame category. In television, Joan showcased her adaptability in Here Come the Brides, stepping into the maternal figure role initially played by Gail Cove. Her portrayal brought stability and warmth to the series. Joan's global admiration extended to the British sitcom Dad's Army, where Private Pike adorned his bedroom walls with numerous pictures of her. This charming crush underlines her widespread appeal, not limited to Hollywood, but resonating internationally. Resting at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Glendale, California, Joan Blondell's ashes find quiet permanence, reflecting the strength she demonstrated throughout her career. This unassuming space becomes a tribute to her lasting influence on the entertainment industry. Joan faced challenges, including the demanding circumstances surrounding the birth of her son Norman Scott. His entrance into the world mirrored her resilience, enduring a challenging labor that lasted an impressive 20 hours, complicated further by a fractured coccyx. Exploring these lesser-known aspects of her life unveils layers beneath the spotlight, providing a deeper appreciation for the woman whose influence stretched far beyond Hollywood. Joan Blondell's involvement in the film Broadway Gondolier marked a turning point in her life. As Alice Hughes, she delivered a memorable line stating, women don't marry crooners, they only divorce them. Interestingly, a year later, she married her co-star from the film Crooner Dick Powell. However, their union faced challenges, and in 1944, she divorced him. The film not only brought personal ties, but also professional connections. Joan's first husband, cinematographer George Barnes, captured the visuals of Broadway Gondolier, while her second husband, Dick Powell, shared the screen with her. This blend of personal and professional life added layers to her journey in the entertainment industry. In recognition of her lasting contribution to cinema, Turner Classic Movies honored her as the Star of the Month in December 2019. This acknowledgement highlighted her significant career. Blondell's impact extended beyond the silver screen. In the unaired pilot of Here Come the Brides, she stepped into a role originally played by Gail Cobe, transforming the character into a maternal figure for the brides. This adaptation showcased her adaptability, bringing stability and warmth to the television series over two seasons. Joan Blondell's connections within the entertainment world were not limited to her immediate family. Her inclusion in literature, specifically in Killer Tomatoes' 15 Tough Film Dames, portrayed her on-screen toughness, offering an external perspective on her persona. This literary representation added another dimension to her tough film dame image. The global appeal of Joan Blondell became evident in the British sitcom Dad's Army, where Private Pike adorned his bedroom walls with numerous pictures of her. This charming crush highlighted her widespread influence, transcending Hollywood and resonating internationally. As her journey came to a close, she found quiet permanence in Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Glendale, California. Her ashes, cremated after a life marked by challenges and resilience, mirrored the strength she displayed both on and off the screen. These lesser-known aspects of her life unveil layers beneath the spotlight, providing a deeper appreciation for the woman whose influence stretched far beyond Hollywood.